I would now like to call upon Mr. Uh, Samsul Haq, Project Manager of Leaves of Bangladesh Limited, to come up on stage and give his speech. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Um, I'm Shamsul Haq uh, from Leeds Corporation. Well, uh, how many of you were students here? Thank you. Uh, the basic things of IoT, I mean, what is IoT and its application already covered by our speakers. Uh, I will not gonna repeat uh, more, but I have 10 minutes, right? So I'm going to speak on 10 minutes and uh, uh, 5 minutes. And then up, after the 5 minutes, I'm expecting queries from you. OK? Well, so what is IoT? Uh, I'm going to show you the structure of, I mean, architecture of IoT. The basic things is all about things. Things that are sensing data and through a connectivity the data is residing or uh, storing somewhere and finally the analysis of data is presenting presenting through i mean computer dashboard or mobile this is actually the basic ecosystem and end-to-end -end architecture of iot as we all know the data are uh, sensing keeping somewhere, and finally analyzing. Very simple. But uh, this IoT actually is nothing new. I mean, it started uh, about 18 year back. Mr. Kevin Ashton, who, is, who, who was first coined, it, the, the, coined the term IoT. Kevin Stone was the executive director of Auto IT uh, Desk, Auto ID Desk, in 1991 was coined, it, coined the term. And then uh, after some years, in 2003 and 2004, it comes in publication in probably in MIT, and then in ITU report in 2005. And the year, of, year between 2008 and 2009, the IoT was actually born when the connected device was actually more than the people on the earth. So what I was talking about, the IoT architecture. I believe here are some students who are very interested in IoT, and some of you are already working in IoT. That's why I'm talking something bit in a technical point here. As our keynote speaker said that devices are sensing from sensor, and then through the connectivity, the data is stored is in the cloud. And if I want to uh, build my own structure, you can uh, keep the data there. And finally, the presentation through mobile or you know, the uh, computer browser. So what is this? This is a device, device connectivity. You can say it's some IoT gateway, and then storage, and analytic, what in, in the storage, and finally, the presentation, and uh, you, you can use it. So this is the basic IoT structure, uh, architecture. Uh, this is a very technical part, so I'm not going to deep into it. Some of uh, the IoT protocol are used as well, uh, MQTT, HTTPS, MAQP, uh, M AMQP. Uh, well, oh. So how our IoT is changing our lifestyle? It has many applications. We have already seen some smart home applications, smart meter in agriculture. So what happened in smart, um, smart home? All of your Home appliances are connected with each other. And through the network, with the help of sensor and embedded technologies. You, are remotely can, you, you can remotely monitor it. You can monitor it from office or an, anywhere in the world. You can uh, take notification for any de uh, from the devices, the home appliances, like your bulb, uh, even, uh, the, uh, anything. I mean, your light your thermostat, 
your laptop, TV, everything. Another application is uh, in transportation. Imagine, before uh, today, before leaving uh, your home in the breakfast, in the morning, uh, your smartphone alarming you, warning you, and, and presenting you about your private car conditions. I mean, the fuel condition, the weather condition, uh, what you need to concern about before leaving your house. And after leaving your house, where, when you are in, uh, in the car, you are getting information about the road. If road are under the IoT, you are getting information about road, which part in jam, which part you should uh, go through this uh, program. Even, even uh, if I am late in the, uh, in the road, uh, the organizer of this uh, uh, event automatically, automatically may send the message, I can reply the message. So these are the uh, applications of IoT. Uh, in uh, transportation, uh, in healthcare, you know this is uh, this is very common today. A band which is actually can read my heartbeat, my pulse. You can analyze it. There are other many uh, applications in health also. Um, I'm going fast actually. And agriculture already we have seen that the smart uh, irrigation system. You can sense it. Uh, with the help of IoT, you can sense the moisturizer of the soil, you can, uh, and the moisturizer of the soil can uh, talk to weather station, and a farmer can predict the, uh, the upcoming weather condition, what about the raining condition. And the smart grid, already covered the um, smart meter and other stuff about the energy, and smart city. Um, there are many things included in smart city, actually smart waste management system, smart water distribution systems, and other, also of course, in smart uh, grid, and other services that are from government, uh, that uh, included in smart city. Well, we are talking about residing the data, keeping the data in cloud. There are many cloud, and then uh, IoT cloud, especially IoT cloud, which we can use for reciting the data. We have talked uh, uh, much about IoT, but uh, we have some challenge to implement uh, IoT, like sensing a complex environment, as a, uh, the, the deliver information from the physical world to the cloud, and the connectivity. Of course, the connectivity is, is very important because the infrastructure, if you don't have the proper inf infrastruct you ca infrastructure, you cannot implement the IoT properly. And power, you know, there are many small IoT devices that needs power. So when we are thinking uh, that by 2020, there are 50 billion devices connected, you need power to connect it to always on that devices. And security, of course, this is very important. Well, I, I have finished my presentation, and uh, I'm just expecting some of, some questions for you. Uh, hearing about uh, the, the need for 5G mobile connectivity to enable the Internet of Things, is that also for, uh, for applications that you have been describing? Actually, you you are right because. So the infrastructure for con connectivity. If you don't have the uh, proper bandwidth to connect with other devices, you cannot implement it properly. You know, uh, you are sensing very rapidly. Everything you are sensing uh, very rapidly. Under a, uh, a router, IoT router, you may use multiple sensors, and the data are collecting through all the sensors. So this is very important if you want to implement properly, if you, uh, if you get the proper output of the IoT application, you must have the proper infrastructure, and 5G is very important. But if, uh, it doesn't mean that you can go without, you can go, uh, without 5G. Of course, uh, for the 4G and 3G, we can, we can uh, uh, implement the IoT applications. Thank you. I'm sorry to interrupt. Uh, I just got your question, and uh, just with, uh, in addition, I would like to say that the products we bought, uh, we built, uh, it uses the 3G connection. 
which is already there. So we don't need the 5G for now. It's all working and functioning with the 3G. Yes, and it's all built in Bangladesh, yeah. So working, we are also working with it. So without 5G, we can, we can go. So this is important. If the connectivity, if the bandwidth is strong, we can go faster. Yes. Hello, this is Ashraf Siddiqui from Mirpur. My question is, uh, in order to get the benefit from IoT, large amount of data needs to be handled. So in this scenario, can cloud storage play a significant role? And how, actually? Oh, thank you very much. Yes, of course. Uh, cloud is very important. And we have now, there are many IoT clouded. I can name some like uh, Microsoft Azure IoT, uh, IBM Watson IoT, Bluemix, and uh, ThingSpeak IoT, these are IoT Cloud, ThingRocks, these are IoT Cloud, and AWS IoT, these are, this is uh, uh, IoT Cloud, PubNub, and one of uh, the uh, free IoT drag and drop builder, Kine, which I am using, you can see in my um, uh, Leeds Pavilion also. So this is uh, the, this IoT uh, cloud play a very vital role because you need to store it, and they have lots of functions there, so you can use it. Thank you. I am Nafizul Islam. I'm from South Tech Limited. I have a question, sir. So you said that uh, the devices are sensing information very rapidly, right? So, and this is connected and this is sent to uh, the, the data cloud or something like that. So in case if there are data losses, how you are managing that one? For okay. example, you are rapidly taking the data, the data has been executed, and the data has been not sent. So there is a deviation of the calculation and data information. So how you handle that? Okay. What is the structure for that one? I want to do very, very, very good questions. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. What I suggest and what I experienced actually, you should always use a internal gateway. Sometimes we call it IoT internal gateway. What is it? You shouldn't always connect it directly to IoT cloud with the sensors because you don't need all sense, all data always. Like this, in this room, this light doesn't need always to be on if you have a motion sensor here, this motion sensor doesn't need always to be on. It, 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 when I move or any object move, they, uh, then the sensor, the motion sensor can capture the data. So use this technology. Don't always sense rapidly the data. When you, any abnormal behavior happened, then just sense the data. And this, this mechanism should be controlled in the internal IoT gateway. Well, thank you very much. Time is very short. Uh, thank you. See you.